Uh, welcome, Pritham, to today's session. So this, so this is going to be a very exciting one. Uh, just uh, as you informed that you got selected in Amazon uh, as cloud support engineer, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this this is going to be a very exciting session. Uh, I'm very glad that you can make time uh, today uh, for joining with us. And uh, yeah, thank you again for coming in. Yeah, sir. So this se this session is is just going to be a general chit chat on uh, what your life's journey has been so far. It's going to be inspiring for a lot of different people, uh, especially the freshers for people who have got lesser amount of experience, and your journey to Amazon, uh, what you did, uh, where your learning started, so that it can in inspire a lot of different people. So. Pritham, tell tell me about yourself. So, what are what are you doing at the moment? Where are you? What has been your journey so far? Where did you did college? What inspired you for DevOps? So, tell tell me about yourself. Yeah. So, my name is Pritham Salumke. So, I'm brown and brought up in uh, like uh, North Maharashtra, Jalgao. So, I'm basically from Jalgao, and uh, I completed my engineering in Pune. Uh, from Pune University, uh, Sinagar Institute, Pune University. So after completing my engineering, uh, like from uh, since uh, like college itself, I got placed into TCS. So just uh, after graduating, I started working with TCS. So since college days, I had like uh, interest about cloud and like uh, I haven't heard about DevOps back then, but cloud and all I have heard. So I did uh, my Azure Fundamental Certification. So there was like uh, some uh, promotion going on. So there were like three vouchers for the Azure certification. So I did Azure fundamentals uh, back then. So then I started working in TCS. So in TCS, my role was uh, Java developer. So it was not related to cloud. Uh, so after like uh, getting into like uh, after working for a few days, yeah, I started exploring like uh, options. Because uh, the thing was uh, like uh, the office in uh, which I was sitting, uh, the the person to my right was also preparing to be a Java developer. Uh, he was learning Spring Boot. To the person to my left, like he was also preparing to the front. Like everyone, whole team was preparing Java, Java. Like all the freshers were doing Java, Java. So I thought that uh, there should be something different to get out of the competition. So I, I thought that we should learn more new skills. So uh, I started exploring. So I started searching on YouTube. So the like I got uh, your videos, like your mock interview videos. So that really got uh, me like inter interested into uh, like your platform, like cloud and uh, DevOps and cloud lab. So uh, yeah, so I started with it. I started with the mentorship. Took that uh, decision, like one of uh, with one of my friend that we should uh, start with the mentorship. Then once got into the mentorship program, then started learning uh, things one by one, like uh, connected with you over one on one call. Then uh, like uh, got like you set targets, like you need to get certified into like this, uh, like this three certificate. That. So did my like uh, cloud practitioner certification, uh, then did my solutions architect. So in like uh, one month or uh, two months gap, I was doing one month certification, uh, preparing on them, practicing like practice tests, and then appearing for the exam and then clearing them. So did uh, developer associate, uh, then also did GitHub actions. Side by side, I was also doing like some hands-on, uh, I uh, created uh, free credits from AWS. So I was doing some hands on over there. Uh, also did some uh, projects like basic ones like CI CD. And as well as like every weekend uh, session used to also happen. So uh, I was learning from that also. So yeah, uh, yeah. that's it. Great, Pritam. So, uh, so you have been a student of our mentorship program and you have been quite active in it as well. Before before the mentorship, what steps did you take to learn DevOps? So how were you progressing with that? Okay, so uh, before mentorship also, I was like uh, trying out uh, using some uh, few like YouTube videos or uh, uh, like few courses also I have explored. Like one of my friends bought one course, so I took uh, like access from it and I tried watching it. But uh, they were mostly like uh, just 
uh, there were there were commands and they were just uh, copy paste that com commands and uh, they were not explaining a lot like what's going on behind them they were just uh, copy paste in lot of uh, videos so i was facing difficulty in that so yeah that's what like help uh, in mentorship like uh, like little bit dive deep and also like uh, whatever doubt i had i can just ask so that's what uh, So we, in mentorship also, we, we go through a lot of different assignments and for people who do not know about it, so there are weekly assignments and all. Did you did you try attempting to those assignments and learning on the path that was recommended in the, in the mentorship program? Yeah, I have uh, like the first one itself was like after completing the DevOps basic uh, like bootcamp, there was uh, one assignment assignment for pet clinic project to like uh, completely deploy the ci cd for the pet clinic project so i tried that and yeah i have completed it yeah right now i i often say that there are multiple ways in which a devops career can progress so it can be towards devops engineer towards cloud support engineer uh, you can reach towards the cloud architecture so did you have any preference on working towards CI CD or more towards Kubernetes or managing a platform? Or did you did you have any sort of preference to that? So did you like programming more than scripting? Or did you like managing containers? Or did you like uh, managing the infrastructure? So did you have any sort of preference in that? I haven't like thought of uh, as such like now. Like uh, what should I have preference? Because I don't have like expertise over one thing. Like I have just uh like started learning about this all of these things so i haven't got expertise in any one of them so yeah i'll just let's see like how it goes if if i found interest in any one of them then definitely i'll i'll be like try to get into one uh, one specific niche yeah cool uh and you said you, you have got uh, what's the total number of eso experience that you have uh i joined in august 2023 so like now I'll be completing 10 months next, like next August, I'll be uh, less, than, less than a year of, uh, less than a year of experience. And uh, so now you have cracked Amazon. So yeah, very well done. So, and uh, when you, when you told me uh, that yeah, you got into it, I, I was really happy about it. So we did an interview preparation for Amazon as well. Uh, I think before this video is released, we'll be releasing uh, your interview video as well uh, on, on YouTube. So many people can start learning on it. And uh, I'm I'm very pleased that uh, you got into it. I was very confident that uh, you will actually uh, get into Amazon. Yeah. Now tell me about uh, what happened on the day of interview because that is going to be uh, very inspiring for a lot of people. Uh, so how did you how did you dress up for Amazon? So were you on a, like a suit or tie or were you, like wearing shorts <laughs> and couple? <laughs> no, 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 no. They like they clearly mentioned in the like uh, invitation itself that there's no need to uh, like dress up formally. You can just uh, dress up normal. So yeah, I was just wearing a normal shirt, and that's yeah. it. The interview was virtual on online, so like no dress up was needed. So I just oh, okay. I was just wearing yeah. Yeah, but just, just a shirt in, <laughs> in, 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 in an online right now, where I'm working, they, have, they have strict policy for formal. So right now where I'm working, I, I need to go in formals every day. Yeah. <laughs> like so, shirt and yeah, all of that. Okay, so you're going to office every day in TCS at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TCS it has like uh, every day in office, like five days office uh, policy. So yeah, every day need to go to office. Okay. Formal. Okay. And did they tell you in Amazon, is it going to be like a... Yeah, they told it's going to be remote. Just mm -hmm. uh, you need to be present at the base location. Whatever base right. location is there, you need to be present there. But it will be completely remote. Okay. And are you happy about that? Yeah, yeah. So that was my main goal. Uh, like uh, actually to be saying because five days office is uh, very difficult. Like staying away from your family and friends and... Like, uh, you know that this work can be done from home, but still you need to go to office and then you connect our teams to do the same work with yeah. someone. So you like, it's frustrating. So, yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that is true. I think a work from home is is one of the aspects which came out of, of uh, the COVID that we had. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, though it was very unfortunate that we had the COVID and all, but it was one of the blessings that came out that uh, proved that uh, IT guys can uh, work from home and continuously and provide a lot of input. Yeah. 
All right. So now regarding your Amazon, so tell us about the interview day. Uh, so how many interviews did you go through? Uh, how how yeah. many ways? So were these interviews scheduled beforehand, or was yeah. it like uh, you complete one round and then it, the next round would be scheduled? Yeah. So, so I'll just start from the like the start of it. So uh, basically, what happened? Uh, I I used to continuously check my like Nokri profile update update on it. So, uh, whatever projects I did in our lab and also whatever like uh, hands-on I did, I used to present over the resume and also the certifications and the links in a like well-structured format. So, uh, I used to upload, uh, update that resume on Nokri. So, I got invite from the recruiter from the Amazon itself uh, to like to appear, like to apply for the position. Like they, like they found my profile suitable. So, first... Uh, like uh, when I got that uh, invite, I was like a uh, little bit uh, hesitant to apply. So I was thinking like uh, it's Amazon and I'll not be able to crack it and I'll just waste my chance because if we apply once, then there will be some cool off period. So I was thinking that when I'll get prepared, I'll I'll apply. So I just shared that link with one of my friends. So he he got excited and he he applied. So he applied and he got the test link. So I thought that now I should also apply. Yeah. So I also applied and got the test link. So uh, gave the test. So te there was one uh, like online test. It was mainly like uh, a situation based. Like uh, suppose there are like a few different customers then uh, to whom first you will prioritize like whose problem you will solve based on the situation presented over there. Then there were like technical questions. Uh, there were like um, uh, among like multiple topics you had to choose three topics so i chose like linux networking and devops so mm -hmm. um, mcqs were there uh, from these topics so after com after like completing this uh, test in like two to three days i got feedback that yeah yeah we are positive and uh, this is the like invitation for the link so generally they give they give like 10 days so i got 10 days like after 10 days my interview was scheduled so the interview was on like weekend like saturday so i started preparing i just like uh, gave some applied for the, the day i in, uh, received interview invitation i applied for casual leaves as soon as possible so also gave some sick leaves and then pre started preparing for the role so mainly the the, the like whatever was uh, like expected in interview was uh, given in the uh, invitation mail itself that what like what will be the topics so uh, there were three rounds so first was the uh, operating system uh, so in in that there were like choice uh, like if you want to choose linux or windows and then uh, like uh, questions will be based on that and also like basic operating systems so I chose like Linux. So it, it revolved around basic operating system concepts like uh, uh, say like a deadlock or like how uh, how a Linux uh, booting, like how a Linux system boots or how operating system boots. Uh, then like different storage types, what's the difference between SSD and uh, hard drives. Then what is like, what's the difference between RAM and hard drives. So yeah, it was just uh, like that and also like Linux concepts and also in that round, uh, programming round was also there. So they just asked me to screen share and solve one of the like uh, basic programming question, like something like reverse string or like valid palindrome. So in that uh, way, uh, the first round was there and like all three rounds were elimination rounds. So after clearing first, there was second, then after clearing second, there was third. So second was networking round. So it was all about like uh, computer networking, uh, different protocols, OSI models, then TCP, UDP, difference between them. Then uh, what would happen when you enter like google.com in the browser. So the whole like process, handshakes, DNS resolution. So it was related to all the like basic computer networking. Uh, and yeah, so that's it. So and the third round was the behavioral round. So it was non-technical round. It was mainly about like your resume dis discussion. Then your uh, like if you have previous experience, then about that. Then there were different situations presented, and you had to answer them in the star format. So there were like uh, tell me a time when you went above and beyond for a customer. Then yeah, in that way there were behavioral questions. So each round were, were was of forty five minutes, and there were some gap, and all the rounds were in a single day. 
so that's it about the interview day so it was like good experience uh, the feedback was like very quick uh, once the interview is done in 5 to 10 minutes hr would call you and tell you if it's positive or negative mm -hmm. that's the way it took place cool and so any any key challenges that you faced during the interview any difficult questions that you had to encounter yeah sometimes they like they went little little deep into the topic so uh, yeah and uh, so there there were my there like my preparation lacked a little bit so one question i was asked is i think uh, what is thrashing so i was not able to answer that so afterwards i like i looked after it and for those questions that you were not sure of would you tell them uh, beforehand itself that i'm not really sure or did you attempt yeah. to talk to them or yeah i i i like if 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 it was completely new to me i told them that yeah i i, I don't know about this I'll, i'll definitely look about it and if it i if it's somewhat relative then whatever i know of it i'll i'll tell that so that's what approach i like followed hmm. all right so i think uh, so tell tell us uh, about uh, the mentorship so how important do you think mentorship is in uh, is important for a professional growth yeah mentorship can be like really helpful so the first thing that uh, like really helped me a lot is the accountability so if we prepare on our own there is no sort of like metrics to follow that i'm like we will be like in like in our own way we'll do it like in one month we'll cover a lot of topics and then in next month we'll do nothing so in that way it can be but due to mentorship there will be like uh, accountability like there will be someone who will be asking us like will be presenting will be telling that yeah this week i have completed this there also there will be networking so i connected with lot of folks like uh, in our mentorship program there were like swathi and lot of other people were there so i connected over them like they have not and they have now become like good friends so created groups with them we started uh, connecting on our own we started taking like uh, meetings like on our own like doing hands on so that will also help like a good network and also like consistency every every weekend there will be session but if you try to like do something on your own every like on a daily basis then you, you will like fail to be consistent but as like a group will do so uh, it it would it would help you to be consistent yeah. also assignments would be there so assignments will also help mock interviews will help so like uh, i booked a mock interview with you just a day before my interview so that boosted uh, confidence like lot of lot of uh, confidence boost was because of that because exact same interview uh, uh, happened after that because like i gave you all the topics and all like the job description so whatever questions you asked like mostly like at, i can say 30 40 questions were similar and also the experience uh, helped like uh, doing that uh, again once so yeah it helped a lot no i'm i'm very glad that it helped so I, your mock interview was very good as well so and uh, i'm 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 really pleased uh, that you got into amazon i was pretty hopeful when you gave the mock interview too so i think uh, many of our subscribers will benefit from that interview too yeah and uh, yes funny you mentioned swati because swati also got a, a new job just last week uh, i think I, she's in uk or us i think uh, uh, i think she got in uk yeah so yeah. so i think i think the students are doing very well yeah. and uh, even ratnadeep uh, your your friend uh, yeah to amazon too i think his video will be released uh, might have been released uh, by the time we will share this yeah cool uh, all right pritham uh, just uh, wanted to share you share uh, yeah so just keep continuing in the mentorship program i'm pretty sure that you will still learn a lot of things yes uh, because uh, there are a lot of experience based learnings uh, which which you can elevate your knowledge to far ahead than uh, whatever others can imagine it to be so yeah myself uh, sanjeev and avinash we continue to dive into a lot of different domain experiences and uh, so i'll continue to see you in the mentorship program again so all the best for your journey and uh, yeah all the best for amazon i'm pretty sure you'll have a very successful career yeah thank you thanks for your time today pritham i'll see you again Yeah thank you all right see you